Hey guys, it's Marissa. Welcome back to my channel. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is safe and healthy. I am trying to keep busy in the midst of all the chaos that is going in the world and trying to keep sane, <laughs> basically. So, welcome back to my Ode to Jack Septa guide. This is part two. So, we're going to be working on this guide today. But first, I just want to show you how this guide dried. And it dried beautifully. See how pretty that is. All that beautiful uh, shamrock confetti. And then, I just want to show you, I put the string back on so not could be hung. And what I did was I took some of that pretty um, paper pad, the paper pads I had bought, and I finished it off with this beautiful kind of like a watercolor um, paper. So that is that. And the paper pads, let me see, this is not the one, but it's the paper pads that I had bought, all six of them. This is I just actually made a card for my son's friend. Uh, with that paper. So I'm using it for this. I'm actually making a couple of cards. And my son was like, we'll never have to buy cards again because your cards are so nice and they're really coming out great. Well, it's not just it's not just me. It's the paper is gorgeous. And I'm just, you know, doing a couple of folds, picking some, you know, kind of, um, not scrapbooking, collaging the cards. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'll show those to you in another video. The couple ones that I did make, I didn't show you one because um, I, you know, one of my I made it for one of my friends' birthdays, and I didn't want her to see it if she watched the video. So, but you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see her. So maybe I'll just put it in a video, and then she could actually see what I gave her for her birthday. Because I don't know when I'm gonna be seeing my friends for a while. So. Yeah, so that's how I finished it off, and I put the string back on, and it is ready to be hung. See how beautiful that the paint is? And yeah, so that is that. So that's how that dried. So let's move this guy over here for a minute, and let's put this guy up. Okay. Alright, so I took the string off, and I don't know where the heck I put it, but I'll find it. But I do have other strings, so it's okay. So today we're going to be doing a couple of different pours using the same paint, all right? So we have the uh, Lime Fizz, the Spring Green, and the Ink and Gold by Primal Flow, okay? And then we will be using the beautiful Shamrock. Um, I just love doing this. It's like... The one of those oddly satisfying videos, um, the shamrock um, confetti again. All right, but we're not going to be adding on anything else because, like I said, I, in, the, in the couple of the next videos, I am going to be making some resin. I'm going to be spilling out Jacksepticeye in resin using that mold from yesterday's video. Okay, so from the last video. Anyway, so what I was thinking of is maybe I could do, um, what is it called? A ring pour, but a traveling, that's what it's called, a traveling ring pour through here. That way I want a cool little design going through here, some cool texture going that way. And then I was thinking possibly just doing some straight pours or some mini ring pours here. So I don't know yet, but I want to get some cool like design going on here some really pretty colors flowing okay so that's my idea for that because I was like you know this is a kind of a real I just don't want to like pour paint on it um, I, mean, I am going to layer the cup and I'm definitely going to do a traveling ring pour through here and like I said I may do some straight pours or like mini ring pours here that way there's some really cool things going on in the piece alrighty and then afterwards I will be adding a little bit of the um, confetti and then that is it for this part of it and then we're gonna move on in the following videos uh, making the resin name and then we'll see once the resin is demolded um, if after the, uh, the resin cures if it will fit and, and more this will definitely fit like the septic It'll be Jack Septic 
I I just want to make sure you know that it will all fit in here and I'm sure it will but you know I will definitely um, when we demold the resin piece we will absolutely see it and if for some reason if it doesn't look good then I will go ahead and decorate uh, this piece with some of this stuff because this is kind of cool it's very thin I think it would look kind of cool just to layer it like that you know we could do something like that but we will see you know that that is um, an option as well all right so let's get going let's get started and I will be back in a minute guys
guys, I am back. So at the last minute, I just decided to add a little bit of the, I know you can not barely see it, but it's metallic pouring medium, a little bit to the bottom of each cup, and I did layer a little bit of the titanium white as well. I just felt like it needed it, and this came out really beautiful. Just look at that. This really came out very pretty and I'm glad I did the pores I did look how pretty that came out just beautiful I'm really 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 happy with it this is gonna be a great uh, background for the resin pieces and like I said if for some reason all the letters don't fit like or the way I you know I really don't like the way it looks it will go very nice if I just add a couple of these to it and then that would be done but we're going to try the um the uh Jacksepticeye the whole resin pieces first and yeah we'll see how it looks I'm sure it'll be fine even if it sticks out a little bit I don't mind that I think that the name will fit perfectly I think that will be just fine. It could be like, you know, Jack Septic I E Y E will be fine. Um, yeah, I think it's going to work. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I just really, really love this um, uh, shamrock uh, confetti. It's so pretty. I love the way this came out. So I hope, um, <clears throat> excuse me, hope everyone has a great weekend. I hopefully, yeah, I will probably, you know, continue to do videos. Um, it's getting a little crazy in New York. Um, you know, Google it. I don't want to talk too much about it because YouTube, whatever. But it's getting a little crazy here. Um, but, you know, we're doing well over here. But, and, you know, this is why I'm even... I'm making art even more um, to boost my own spirits quite frankly keep creative keep just doing things and keep positive and also trying to uplift you guys on the other end I don't know what all you guys are going through um, I hope everyone is well and safe and healthy and that's you know that's all I could say about that I am sending healing vibes to everyone out there, and uh, my energy is really staying just positive for me, my family, my friends, and all of you guys out there, and I am really happy that I kind of waited to do this, because I think this is just a really happy video, and you know, Jacksepticeye is incredibly positive and just high energy, and I think it's a great uh, state of being right now So guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you love my shamrock wreath and on to the next step Which will be the resin part and I really really can't wait to do this. It will be a lot of fun So guys if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos If you want you could follow me on social media my links are below if you want to um, support me further You can put a little donation to my pay my PayPal And if anyone is interested in buying any one of my pieces my email is below and you can contact me through there Or you can contact me right in the comments below Thank you guys so much, so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.